Praise the Lord, dear brothers and sisters. Previously on Sunday, we have seen about the materials which were connected for, which were collected for the building of the tabernacle. All the materials which were collected for building of the tabernacle, the ark of the testament, the altar of incense, and the altar of burnt offering sacrifice, and the gold and lampstand and the bronze lever, whatever materials were connected. And God has given also talent to some people to build and design all that materials which God need them to build, which God told them to build on Mount Sinai to Moses. First God told, and Moses came away and told to this all people what what they should build to Bezalel and Ahilobab. God has given all the talents, ability to build and design all these architectures which God wanted them to build. And after that, we have previously seen building of tabernacle also was started. And the people, when they started giving all the material, was so much more than enough for making the tabernacle. But so much that was more than enough. We cannot use that much to make material after using all the materials also for the construction. So many things will be left. Like that, people giving started giving, and they never stopped giving, 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 giving only. Then God only said to Moses to tell the people now to stop giving the offering because it because it is more than enough. So much is there for building of the tabernacle and all the materials which were required for the architecture. That's why God told now stop bringing the offering to the temple. It's over. More than enough it is. And after that we have seen starting of the tabernacle also building of the tabernacle. They started previously on Exodus chapter 36. Today we are going to read Exodus chapter 37. In that we are going to read some of more constructions which are going to be built. God told them to build and before starting that let us start this session in prayer asking God's help so that God may help us to understand the scriptures which we are reading Our Heavenly Father previously has you were with us while we were reading Exodus chapter 36 we ask your help to be, to be with us while we read Exodus chapter 37 and help us to understand the dimensions which were required for building the materials for the tabernacle and also the materials which were required the design of it, my father. Today we are going to read Exodus chapter 37. Help us to nicely read the chapter and go through it, understand some main points from it. Help me to explain the temple In the precious name of the Lord Jesus Christ, let me come. of the tabernacle was completed previously. Today we are going to see making the Ark of the Testimony and Bezalel made the Ark of Akia wood. Two and a half cubits was its length, a cubit and a half its width and a cubit and a half its height. He overlaid with pure gold inside and outside and made a molding of gold all around it. And he cast off for it four rings of gold to be set in its four corners, two rings on one side and two rings on the other side of it. He made poles of Akkia wood and overlaid them with gold. And he put the poles inside the rings at the sides of the ark to bear the ark. He also made the mercy seat of pure gold, two and a half cubits was its length and a cubit and a half its width. Of one piece at the two ends of the mercy seat, one cherub at one end on this side and the other cherub at the other end on that side. He made the cherubim at the two ends of one piece with the mercy seat. The cherubim spread out their wings above and covered the mercy seat with their wings. They faced one another. The faces of the cherub were toward the mercy seat. So they are making the Ark of the Testimony. This Ark of the Testimony contains the two tablets, the Ten Commandments, which God gave to Moses on Mount Sinai writing them on the tablets again God has given them after that this mark of testimony is being made in that they are keeping the two tablets which God gave them so ark of testimony how it is made we have seen it two angels will be above sitting towards each other facing the mercy seat below like this and spreading their wings up they will be facing down only all this is made for Akea with Akea wood and then overlaid with gold also they make poles and rings to side so that they can put the poles inside the ring and carry 
द आर्क ऑफ द टेस्ट मनी मेकिंग द टेबल फॉर द शो ब्रेड आर्क ऑफ द टेस्ट मनी ओवर मेकिंग द टेबल फॉर द शो ब्रेड वी मेड द टेबल ऑफ एक्या वुड टू क्यूबिट्स वॉज इट लेंथ क्यूबिट इट्स विड एंड क्यूबिट एंड हाफ इट्स हाइट एंड यू ओवर लेड इट विथ प्योर गोल्ड एंड मेड अ मोल्डिंग ऑफ गोल्ड ऑल अराउंड इट He made a frame of the hand breath all around it, and made a moulding of gold for the frame all around it. And he cast for it four rings of gold, and put the rings on the four corners that were at its four legs. The rings were close to the frame as holders for the poles to bear the table. And he made the poles of acacia wood to bear the table and overlaid them with gold. And he made of pure gold. the utensils which were on the table its dishes its cups its bowls its pitchers for pouring the table for the show bread also they are making in that they are going to keep the bread which they required in the service by the priest and the priest is going to eat at some time after some days and they are going to keep the cups also in that some wine will be all everything will be there in that show bread table show bread table after that making the gold lamp stand now lamp stand is there for giving the light in the tabernacle we are going to be seven heads of lamps which all seven lamps will be upon that like that they are going to make only a thin mass like that put no for light only flame will be there not that electricity light but normal flames like candle like that like that only it will be making the gold lamp stand he also made the lamp stand of pure gold of hammered work he made The lamp stand, its shafts, its branches, its poles, its ornamental loops, and its flowers were of same piece. And six branches came out of its size. Three branches of the lamp stand out of one side, and three branches of the lamp stand out of the other side. There were three bowls made like the almond blossom on one branch with an ornamental loop and a flower, and the three bowls made like almond blossom on the other branch with an ornamental loop. and the flower and so for the six branches coming out of the lamp stand and on the lamp stand itself were four bowls made like almond blossom each with its ornamental loop and flower there were uh, there was a loop under the first two branches of the same a loop under the second two branches of the same and a loop under the third two branches of the same according to the six branches extending from it their loops and their branches were of one piece all of it was one hammered piece of pure gold and he made it seven lamps its wick trimmers and its trays of pure gold of a talent of pure gold he made it with all its utensils this lamp stand is made so that it may it may give light in the tabernacle making of the altar of incense and he made the incense altar of acacia wood its length was a cubit and its width a cubit it was a square and two cubits was its height it horns were of one piece with it and he overlaid it with pure gold its tops its sides all around it its horns he also made for it a molding of gold all around it he made two rings of gold for it under its molding by its two corners on both sides as holders for the poles with which to bear it and he made the poles of a cavern and overlaid them with gold so altar of incense is there to produce some fragrance in the in tabernacle after giving some sacrifices on the altar of sacrifice there may be some smells going on inside the tabernacle that's why for providing a smooth nice smells perfumes were used altar of incense that is called in that we are going to burn some incense so that it may give nice smell fragrance all over the tabernacle for that reason that has may be created in that time as god had told god knows everything what will happen Well, also God seen, I think, or known, and that's why God told to erect this also in that inside altar of incense was built, making the anointing oil and the incense. He also made the holy anointing oil and the pure incense of sweet spices, according to the work of the perfumer. So, incense for incense perfumers also made, and oil also for burning the lamps on the lamp stand was made. so these are some of the constructions which we are seeing in coming weeks also we are going to see some of the constructions only today we have seen how the ark of the testimony was created the lamp stand was created the show bread table and the altar of incense and the
spices and perfumes, how they were created, or how they were worked to make them. This we have seen today. Hope we have understood something in this chapter. What what has been made till now? Tabernacle has been made. The Ark of Testimony has been made. The lampstand has been made. The showbread, altar of incense, and the perfumes and spices and oils. All that has been made till now. We are going to see some more materials which we are need at that time for the tabernacle to be completed. So this is the end of today's chapter, Exodus chapter 37. Hope we have learned something. Let us end this chapter by praying and thanking God in our prayer. Our Heavenly Father, as previously you were with us for understanding the chapter today also, you were with us. While we are going through the chapter, you made it understand everything, what was, was required for making the materials which were required for the tabernacle and all the things that they have made till now. The sun, the bezel and the envelope, both which you have given them ability to make something nice for the tabernacle, my father. The ark of the testimony, the altar of incense, the showbread table, the lampstand, spices and perfumes, everything. You have shown them or taught them how to make my father. You told everything to Moses. Moses coming down telling to these people or they may have heard from far off of my father. But you are doing all this so that they may keep themselves busy in your work which you like. Not going to any other works my father. Also we have seen how gracious God you have even though they have sinned against you and made some idols which you don't like. Then also you use them in your work my father. Thank you for forgiving us when we are sending my father. You are forgiving God that we understand. And also we have seen that you have given talent to these people, Bazilin and Elulabab. Even though they are simple, normal people, they don't have any talent or ability. They were ready when you call them, help us to be ready also. And the talent and whatever ability which you are giving, help us to take it and work for you. In the precious name of Lord Jesus Christ, I come for you.